You can pick up some Side Surf Cake Studio merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. Your friends will ask, what's Side Surf Cake Studio? And you can say, oh, let me show you. Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a pool float cake. I've got myself a plethora of pool float options here, so now I have to decide which one I'm going to turn into a cake. Which one would you pick? Let me know in the comments. Some of these are see-through, so there's really no place for cake to live, so these are not an option. And some of them are just a little too simple, so I'm gonna pass on those. Some of these crack me up. Like, what is this one? <laughs> it's like some kind of mermaid tail? I'd be bummed if I got stuck with that one. Welcome to my pool party. Come, pick out your pool float. Oh, sorry. This one's the only one left. Looks like I'm left with the birds. So I'm going with the pink flamingo. I think that the flamingo is a good choice because it definitely reads as a common pool float. And when the object that I make is more familiar to people, they just tend to like it better. And that works for me. I've traced and cut out my parchment stencil, so now I stack my cake two layers high, and then I'm going to use that stencil to carve it into the shape of a real pool float. I actually made a cake of a mylar balloon in the past, which is somewhat similar to how I'll approach this cake. So when it comes to a cake that's made to look like it's full of air, this isn't my first rodeo. It's my second rodeo. The cake is carved, so now I'm covering it in a layer of lime green buttercream before I cover it in a layer of pink modeling chocolate. A lot of you ask how I make modeling chocolate, and I have a tutorial on this very channel, so you can check that out. And now it's time to sculpt some deets. You see the puckering happening on the real pool float? Well, I'm gonna add a little puckering of my own. And look at that. These marks are exactly what's needed to turn this dense cake that's covered in heavy pink modeling chocolate into a light and airy looking pool float. To create the small lip where the two pieces of material are sealed shut, I just take a blade and I press up and away. Now this is not a helium balloon, so I'm not pressing up, up and away. That's too much up. <laughs> I don't want this pool float to float away. I have to say that this is the most tiniest detail that I think I have ever sculpted. It's so ridiculously small. <laughs> and it makes all the difference. Without that little lip, this cake just wouldn't look nearly as believable. This is definitely my favorite part about this cake. The outside of the float looks good, so now I just sculpt the inside of the tube. The inner tube, if you will. I cut the cake board into the shape of the flamingo's head and neck, then I cover it in foil tape, then in pink modeling chocolate, and then I sculpt all the details. Once this cake is finished, I want to place it among all the real pool floats so that you can compare. Presenting a cake next to the actual real objects is so much harder than if it's just a cake that's being presented on its own, but I'm up for the challenge. Now I know that you know which one is the cake, but let me know in the comments if you think it's at least hard to tell. This is truly a test of my cake making abilities. 
Now I place the neck onto the body and I blend it to make it look like it's one solid object. To cut this cake, I decided that I'm going to take it to the pool. A real pool. A public pool where there are people who are very confused by my actions. <laughs> You'll see that poolside cake cutting in just a bit, but first, let's add some shimmer. I'm covering the cake in some edible powder shimmer dust. Now, if you didn't know that that's a thing, that is a thing. <laughs> it's magical. And last, I paint the beak, eyes, and wings. You know, if you think about it, isn't this just a cake in costume? <laughs> Like here at Sideserve Cake Studio, I show you how to make costumes for cakes. And this week's cake is dressed up as a flamingo pool float. <laughs> if you enjoy my cakes and cosplay, subscribe to this channel, because I post a new one every week. I don't know if you've noticed, but this channel just recently reached 400,000 subscribers. And I'm so excited. Thank you so, so, so much, you guys. So that's another reason to subscribe. Help me reach half a million subs by subscribing right now. And there you have it, a flamingo pool float cake. Now let's see how it measures up with the other pool floats. Just look at it among its pool float friends. This is an adorable swim team photo. We've got all different shapes and colors. Very diverse. You guys ready for the pool party? Let's cut the cake. Yes, I love it. I am so glad I took this one outside because it is so much fun. If you like this cake, give this video a like and head over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com where you can get some Sidesurf Cake Studio items like this very shirt that I have on. I'll see you next week for another cake. <laughs>